Hi, so this particular playlist is all about answers to tough questions and the whole idea is that I'm going to post the question. Um, if you pause the video, have a go at the solution and then the answer will be given in the final part of the video. I hope it's useful to you and please do add a comment, like, subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next videos. Okay, so this is one of these types of questions you're going to come across from time to time. Now there is a fixed method, a fixed way of doing these questions that I hope is okay for you. I have seen it done a couple of different ways, but this is the way that, uh, that I would do it. The first thing is, is we need to make sure that the denominators, in other words these two numbers, are the same. And the easiest way with these particular fractions is to make them something over 12. So 11 over 12 I can keep the same, but because 3 will divide into 12 four times, then I can rewrite that fraction as 5 and 4 over 12, and I'm going to write minus 2 and 11 over 12. So what I've basically done, and I've said 4 over 12 is the equivalent of 1 third. Okay, and if you're not sure about how to do that, if you have a look at some of the other videos, then that will give you some help. Okay. So with this particular question now, the numbers themselves, we can say 5 take away 2, well that's 3 and that's absolutely fine. But the problem we've got is we've got 4 twelfths take away 11 twelfths. That's going to be much more difficult to do because we get involved in negative numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that rather than writing this 5, I'm going to write this 5 as 4 and 12 twelfths. Okay, I'm just going to convert it to 4 and 12 twelfths because you can imagine what I've done there is I've got 4 wholes and 12 twelfths is the same as saying 1. So 4 plus 1 is 5. Which means then that I can just add that 4 twelfths to this and I end up with a mixed number that looks like 4 and 16 twelfths. Now that's exactly the same as saying five and four twelfths. So I haven't really changed anything. I've just made it a little bit easier for me to do my calculation with. So I hope that's okay for you. There are a couple of videos in this particular series and you can have a look at how we've done that. But it's important that you take this whole number and you convert it into something that you can use in order to solve this particular problem. So now it's relatively straightforward. If I minus 2 and 11 twelfths, I get 4 take away 2. Well, that's 2. And I've got 16 twelfths take away 11 twelfths. So that's going to be 5 twelfths. And that's the answer to this particular question. I um, hope that's been helpful for you. I will link this particular video through to uh, other videos in this particular series. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.